I gotta say, as good as it's been uploading consistent content, I am so glad that Vita is nearly done. Hello everyone, my name of course is Artemage, and welcome to day 27 of Vita, vlog every day of April. Yesterday's topic was pretty heavy, and kind of debated doing another similar heavy topic, but I just don't have it in me. I almost didn't vlog at all today, less out of lack of wanting to do so, and more out of forgetting. I had a hard crash day. I got home from work, I was up for about an hour, and sitting at my computer here, and I leaned my chair back, put my feet up watching YouTube, and had a nap. I woke up from my nap, and moved to bed, and had a nap. So my sleep schedule's all boned. I took a uh, nighttime allergy pill that usually gets me pretty drowsy pretty reliably, so hopefully I get some sleep tonight. Obviously I've needed it. But tonight, what I want to talk about is something that occurred to me while I was at work. Don't know why it occurred to me there. It was a bit of an oddity. I was thinking on a number of the games that I've gotten into over the years, uh, such as Warhammer 40k, uh, Dungeons & Dragons, Magic the Gathering, uh, Infinity, War Machine and Hordes. I really sat there and thought about what was it that got me into these particular games. I mean, obviously there's no common mechanics for the most part, and so I sat there and thought about it. I remember encountering magic when in about 5th grade, I think, maybe 4th. I remember at first the art fascinated me, and I sat there and watched the game play it, and I'm like, wow, this is really interesting. That was my first exposure to it. I enjoyed it, and watching it, I realized that was something I could get into. It was rather unique. It had a lot of variety to it. It wasn't a case of you both started off with the same resources. You tailored resources to your desire and worked within what you got from them. Then Dungeons & Dragons came along eventually uh, for me when it came to tabletop gaming and I realized there it was a similar thing to what drew me into a lot of the video games I play. Story heavy, character regression, interaction with other characters in the world, exploring the world. Now granted I've done more GMing than I have playing of RPGs, but nonetheless I still found getting involved with these worlds fascinating. even when. They were once my own creation. Mind you, I didn't even see much of my own worlds at the table. My most interested one, the one I was most interested in when I was doing Dungeons and Dragons, was Eberron, because it was so not typical good versus evil. It was really an anything to go. I mean, when you have evil chromatic dragons and goblins used to be an empire, it's a pretty interesting set. Then we come to some of the miniatures games. Uh, Warhammer 40k was the first one I was introduced to, which I believe I mentioned before. Uh, saw it in action at Torcon 3, and, and with that being my first miniatures experience, I didn't A, know there were other things out there, but at the same time, B, I absolutely fell in love with the dynamic gameplay, the fact that the player who wasn't actively taking a turn was still involved, and once I got into learning the background information, I was hooked. I mean, the world absolutely sucked me in there and kept me pretty devoted to the game until I got started with it in 2011 and then once they announced 7th edition. Really not enjoying the fact that it was something that drove me to give up the game that I was enjoying so much. Now before I actually picked up War Machine or Warhammer, I remember looking the War Machine, hearing it was a good competitor out there. I remember it was uh, about 2009 when I was having employment issues. I was working just it was a full-time job that considered 11 to 15 hours a week to fulfill that. So I remember getting a brief look at some of the models and seeing these are expensive, as expensive as the ones for Warhammer 40k. And I was led to believe that was a less expensive game, but at the time I didn't realize that number one, it was a different style of game. It was initially designed as a skirmish game, and I think this was about when the transition was happening and bringing it up to Mark II in an army scale game. And that would have made probably no difference at the time, sadly. Then I got into looking at the game because I was like, okay, there are other options out there. Why don't we see what they have to offer? And I remember picking up the Prime Mark II book for War Machine, reading that introductory story with uh, Kane and Stryker leading an offensive against some Manoth forces, and I was like, wow, this this is a world I want to be part of. And once again, the world just drew me right in. I was realizing, thinking chronologically, that worlds can indeed suck me in. In fact, Infinity is the first game that got me heavily invested for miniatures 
on a gameplay level before a world level. I love the world of Infinity, but it's the kind of game that if you had told me now it's fantasy, I'd probably still be playing because the rules just at me in that well. And again, I'm scratching similar itches with video games. Uh, we have Legend of Zelda, which is, of course is all about exploration and overcoming puzzles. Final Fantasy series games I've enjoyed. You have your character progression, you have expansive worlds, stories, character interaction, and uh, finding the best tools for the job to suit various scenarios as well as your puzzles. I mean, obviously there's some outright puzzle games like Tetris out there. I play a lot of things overall, especially when it comes to the video game scene because as much as a uh, currently, probably in good portion to the dollar, $80 new release game is quite the investment for me, I get quite the mileage out of a video game. And so, for an investment in a tabletop game, I have to expect I'm going to get the same kind of mileage. Now obviously, everyone's a little different than what draws them in. I know plenty of people out there who are so dedicated to the rule sets of War Machine and Hordes. I know so many out there who invest so heavily in learning the meta game with Magic and other competitive CCGs and TCGs. I know people who try and make 40k competitive, and I laugh at them. It really makes me wonder overall, what are some of the things that get you into the various games that you're interested in? Let me know down below, and with that in mind, look forward to the next three days videos. I'm going to be trying a different format with at least one of them. Once again, take care of yourselves, each other, and have a great night.